Okay guys, so this is Route 1. We're north facing. We're currently in Fort Pierce and we're going to head over into the Vero Beach border. So this is northern Fort Pierce, which is kind of away from the heart of Fort Pierce, which tends to be a bad area with a high crime. There's pockets of Fort Pierce that are positive, but there's also the core middle of Fort Pierce could be very negative with high crime. Uh, but this is towards the borderline of Vero Beach, and it's on Route 1, so it's not densely populated. It's not really developed, and this area here is kind of just open land um, to the right and to the left of Route 1. There's some mobile home parks uh, to the left, but not many. Uh, it's mainly two to the right commercial storage uh, lots and the Atlantic Ocean is only about a five minute drive over the bridge to the right but this area of Florida Fort Pierce and then we'll head into Vero Beach this section is not that developed uh, on Route 1 again if I go more west if I made a left then it's more developed but right now there is this stretch of road on the Fort Pierce Vero Beach borderline that there are some mobile home parks, there are some commercial uh, sections of, uh, you know, commercial storage lots to my right, but it's, you see it's very not densely populated at all. And Vero Beach uh, is probably one of the least populated um, towns that's right by the Atlantic Ocean. And the only, Vero Beach has a lot of positive. The positive is it's not overdeveloped. It's right by the beach. And there's some gorgeous beachfront property. There's some very nice homes inland. The negative with Vero Beach, it's a very old population. And there's not really a middle class. There's a lingering homeless and drug problem covered up by the very wealthy snowbirds and the very wealthy landowners in Vero Beach. There's some great people in Vero Beach that I've met and even middle class, but there's not really a young, vibrant economy. There's And the youth don't look forward to their future. They kind of look to get out of Vero Beach because Vero Beach is a place where older people come that have already made their money. And they want to be in a quiet area of Florida by the beach. And that's Vero Beach. But the problem is you don't have enough balance with a younger, vibrant culture. And you mix that in with some destitution, some poverty. And what you have is very wealthy beachside. And once you come inland, it's, it's getting developed. And there are some opportunities that are outflowing through Melbourne with the defense contractors and through Port St. Lucie from the south with their tremendous growth and hospital systems. But being that Fort Pierce is in between Port St. Lucie and Vero, and Fort Pierce is mainly on the negative side due to the high crime and poverty. And Sebastian also has like an older, not really vibrant ec economic outlook, which is directly north of Vero. Vero's in this dead zone, okay? And even though there's going to be a lot of land development over the next 10, 20 years and Vero will grow, the culture is lacking with a vibrant young population. Now I get it, Vero Beach does not want it to become an overpopulated town like many on the east coast of Florida. But the negative is when you go shopping in the malls, and some of the malls are abandoned, when you go shopping in the stores and the workers, the young workers, they're not happy and excited about their future. On average, they're nice. There's nice people here. It's overall very safe. But when it's just old money and most of it came from another state and you don't have the young or the middle class, you feel an emptiness. It's quiet. It's peaceful. I would recommend Vero Beach in many ways. But there's a big dead energy. Now, the positive is it's not overpopulated. There's not a lot of traffic. And that's rare to be by the beach 
in somewhat of southern Florida, even though you're right by the central part of Florida. So the trade-off is you're going to have a peaceful community in Barrow Beach that's underdeveloped. Which, but unless you're old and you brought your money, you're not going to have energy and opportunity. And when you're old, who takes care of you? The young next generation. Well, the hospitals here, if you look at the ratings, are very low. And the workers in the service industry are not that excited because they don't see much of a future. So the negative is you brought your money, you're going to retire in a peaceful community, but you're not going to see the energy of the next generation. They're not going to be enthusiastic to be your caretaker, to serve you your goods, because what about their future? They got to go somewhere else to get it. Versus Port St. Lucie now, you can kind of develop your future there. Versus Melbourne, you can get into, you know, the aerospace defense contractor. There's a future there. Vero is this dead zone. And in one way, I'm attracted to it, like many people, because it's not overpopulated. In another way, after staying here for a few weeks, there's something missing. And the thing missing is the energy in the next generation. You don't want things to be overpopulated, but when they're underpopulated and there's an economic imbalance and there's no vibrant next generation, who takes care of the old people? Who services the old people? A generation that doesn't feel excited about their future. Do you want them to service you? It's tough, you know? Not to say that there's not people in the service industry and the healthcare industry that aren't good here, because I don't want to paint a broad brush, but there's a drug problem here, you'll see it. You'll see there's a homeless problem here. You'll see it drifting in the stores. And there's an elitist problem here. There's very old money, and they come from another place. You know, it's not a bad area, though. I mean, Fort Pierce, I would say, is worse. Um, it, it's tough, you know, but I want to show you this visual example, because right now we're into Vero Beach, okay? We're, we cross the Fort Pierce borderline. This is the very southern tip of Barrow Beach on Route 1. And as you get into it, it's an Indian River counter. And we're just about to get into it or just got into it right there. You know, you will see the stores. You will see car lots. You know, many people who grew up in South Florida, they're car salesmen or they're service industry. Why? Because there, there, there weren't factories, in, especially in areas like this where we don't have a major metropolitan area like, you know, Fort Lauderdale or even Port St. Lucie now. So when you're in areas like this, you're going to be law enforcement, in sales, or in service. Now, you can get into a hospital industry, but it's really you're fighting the odds because most of your peer group, you know, there's a dead energy. You can feel it as you come into here. But there's a quiet peacefulness. But after time, that quiet peacefulness becomes eerie. And you'll feel like something's missing in Vero. What's missing? The energy. The next generation of hope, of enthusiastic. You can bring as much old money. They can dedicate museums. And some of the beachfront property here is beautiful. Beaches are gorgeous. The beach parks are gorgeous. But the energy is lacking. That's the one negative. Now, the positive is it's not overpopulated. There's not a lot of crowds. And you do have some of those amenities due to the rich people that donated them. We are just now crossing an Indian River counter Barrow Bar Beach. To the right was a mobile home park that got bought out by a corporation and it's lot, lot rent. Um, so it, it's nice, but you know, it's just like that's what's missing, you know, if you ask me. And I'll drive a little bit further because I want you to see as we get further into Barrow, the beginning of it here, you're going to see there are stores, they're, they're modern, and they're nice, I mean, but there is, you know, if I turn into some of these supermarkets, there are homeless, there is some drug problem, you know, not tremendous, but you'll notice it if you spend time here, okay? Um, now, if you spend time here, you know, you're, and um, who who is it, uh, the lady from Miami Sound Machine, she has like a a beachfront hotel it's gorgeous the beachfront is gorgeous they call it like the Hamptons but like the Hamptons Hamptons is low energy and it's you feel the peace here in Vero you feel it and you, it's almost like oh I love it 
But after a period of time, you feel dead here. Why? Because there's no energy. And that's that's the hate and the love relationship with Vero Beach. Fort Pierce, you know, again, it, there's too dense. It's too much crime. There's some nice areas. Sebastian is very similar to Vero. And, you know... That, that's the issue, you know, like Palm Beach County, Jupiter, Florida, gorgeous, very expensive, and it is very populated now. Port St. Lucie, you know, is, is, is pretty well balanced, and that's why you see a lot of people going there, because now you do have tremendous opportunity there, not just to retire, but to work, and even, you know, you can commute. But when you get, this is like an hour north of Port St. Lucie. Once you get like an hour north of that, you're in this dead zone where you either brought your money or you, you're young and you don't feel encouraged about your future. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to graduate high school and get the hell out of here. And you know, it's not just that it's not a lot of nightlife. They always say, well, people don't like Vero Beach because not a lot of nightlife. Well, they also don't like it because they don't feel the next generation doesn't see what their future will be. They don't have examples. The next generation only has example of rich people that came here to retire or older people that came here to retire and they're servicing them and that brings a little bit of an angst you know not a tension uh, not a horrible area you would do well in Vero Beach but there's a little bit of an empty soul in Vero Beach because of this reason you know like if I turn off into this McDonald's and Publix it's not a modern McDonald's, not a modern Publix, okay? And, you know, there's working class people here that do HVAC, plumbing, um, okay? Um, car salesmen right across the street. But it's not vibrant. Um, like, you, you even see with the storefront signs, right? Like the, the Chinese food spot, like the sign is like almost like totally melted off. It, it's not even there anymore. The cafe, it's open, but the cafe sign's half, half gone. The cell phone repair, half of it's one color, half of it's the other. So it's like, you know, where, you know, there's no energy, there's no people here. I mean, there's people here, there's cars. But, you know, and, you know, this is the off season, right? But it's just an eeriness, the best way to say it. It's not, But it's not like, you know, you don't feel like, you know, danger what do you feel well it is relaxing and that's seductive okay because you feel this relaxed energy but you'll see the older demographic old guy old lady wobble in there old couple and nothing wrong with old people I like being around old people but you know what happens is who takes care of them young people and where are they that's a good question. Who takes care of old people, young people? Where are them? Where are they? In Vero Beach, they're here, but they're not going to stay here. Now, not that you, you know, but again, you know, like you're going to live some good years. I don't know, man. I have a, I have a very mixed feeling about Vero. One part of me says, wow, man, this is peace. And then the other part of me says, this is dead. And that's Vero Beach. And, and, I mean, that is it really in a nutshell. You know, you will see some stragglers. You know, I don't see any right now, homeless or, or drug issues. Uh, definitely more as you go west, but even right here on Route 1, you'll see them. Um, but I hope this video helped you. If it did, subscribe, click the thumbs up, click the super thanks. It really helped you. Do I recommend you move to Vero Beach? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't say that I don't. Um... But it, that's going to be your love and hate relationship with Vero. You're going to love the peace here. You're going to love there's some beautiful areas here. You're going to love there's some great people here. After a period of time being here, you're going to say, what's missing? And what's missing is the energy and the youth and the next generation. It's good, though, maybe to come here to reset. Maybe it's good to have a home base here for, for your peaceful sanctuary. But you're probably going to want to commute an hour south or north from time to time to re to reboot your energy level okay so those are my thoughts i hope it helped you i'll see you in the next video